Hey y'all, this is Cowboy Greg from St. Luke Farm, and today we're going to head back down to Uari and um, do us a little short ride. It won't be a very long ride, but we're going to hit some different trails than we did last time. So it should be a fun little day. Um, it's not too bad today. Beautiful clear sky, just nothing but Carolina blue skies here today. And um, so anyway, the temperature was about 20 some degrees, so we're kind of getting a little late, little late start. Wait till it warms up a little bit. High today is going to be about 47, so it's going to be a beautiful day. Anyway, y'all remember, hit that like and subscribe button, and y'all check us out. We're heading down to Uari. They have t-shirts for sale, sweatshirts. Got gold pan and stuff. Camping gear. Alright y'all, this is just a little trails on the back side of the old horse camp and you'll come down here and cross the creek and this will take you to cane break and I guess this is technically home is the name of the trail there. You know, backcountry horsemen of Uwari have done a great job fixing this crossing up. I've said it before coming through here. It was rough at one time, but it's really nice now. All right, this gets a little bit rutted out up through here, but...
it's just this trail gets a lot of traffic because it's the only trail coming up this way from the old horse camp and so I mean you can see where they've moved the trail from the old rutted spots but Once you get up here, it flattens out good again. All right, just a little muddy spot. But as much rain as we've had in North Carolina lately, it's really not bad. It's really, really dry out here today. Now, when we get up here, we're going to make our right and head to Josh and take Josh around. If you go to your left, that will take you to cane break. I said it's marked with purple paint. head up this way and there's Josh and Indian so and Josh will be marked with green paint all right and like I says there's Josh backcountry horseman of you are Really did a good job here on these trails marking them. It's marked with green paint. And this is what we'll be following for a little while. Crossing Forest Service Road 544. Now there's a trail, I don't know how well you'll be able to see it, but there's a trail that goes that way. And that actually will take you along the road back towards um, Canebrake Horse Camp. But Josh actually makes a right here. So like I said, pay attention to the colors on the trees. If you're not seeing paint, you're probably not on a marked trail that's on the map. Okay, perfect example is you have a very well-worn trail there. You see a little bit of green here, but actually that's not the trail for Josh. The trail for Josh actually makes a little bit of a right here and goes around. Now, I about guarantee you that trail comes out on the other end and runs back into Josh somewhere, but you know, it's not the it's not the trail that we're supposed to be staying on. Like I said there's a, you know, sign that says 702 and 702 is Josh. Okay, so we just came out of the road. I mean, out of the woods, back onto the road. And what you'll want to pay attention to on this one if we're staying on Josh. Now that straight across from the trail of Josh is Blackburn, 701. But Josh, you need to ride up the road just a little bit to pick Josh back up. Now 
here we are back on Josh. Now here we are at an intersection. This is Blackburn to the right. All right, but Josh goes to our left. So. All right. Yeah. Now there was a trail back there that went around to the left and it probably bypasses this little spot and because it's a pretty big dip right there but we're just gonna cut up around it right here I believe and so Guess that's a spot that needs worked on. All right, and then when you get out here to the dirt road, you'll want to go up here to your left. And there's actually a trail that comes out right there. Like I said, back there a little ways. It went off to our left and it would have brought you out right there. And you could avoid the rutted out spot. But anyway, we'll turn back to the right here and pick Josh back up. Okay, as, we, as you come up through here, you're on Josh. You're gonna see a little like white marks and some red marks. All right, going this way, there's a hiking trail that you'll cross. So like I said, you're going to cross that. The hiking trail crosses Josh, but we're going to continue to go straight and stay on Josh up this way. There's Cowboy and Sidekick Jackass. See, there's the sign that says Josh. So we'll just continue up this way. And the Cowboy doesn't like riding on the trail. So this is like the, I guess technically, the end of Josh here, and it runs into Lake. Now, if you go to the left, that takes you back up towards Walmart, okay? But we're going to go to the right, and this is 703, and this is an out and back trail. It's just a loop that will take us to the, to Baden Lake, and... Um, so like I said, we're just going to ride out here to the lake and then we'll ride this trail back. I don't, I'm guessing maybe it's like a mile or so out here and back, or at least ways out here anyway. Um, so, you know, maybe round trip two miles or so. Well, there's the lake. That's Baden Lake. Actually, the first water we've come across on this trail. There's not a lot of opportunity at the beginning of the ride. Cowboy, you gonna get you a drink?
Alright, cowboy says he ain't thirsty. I mean the trail kinda it kinda just opens up you can really lose the trail right in here. But it swing, circles back around that way to go back to everything else. And you really can't get down to the water on this trail. There's another trail that will take you down to Baden Lake. Um, when you're heading to the big rocks. But um, like I said, it will take you down, but it's not. And you can actually ride out into the lake at, at that path. So. Cold. Ain't no sense in going to the lake when it's hot. I'm going to see if Stella wants to ease down in there. Ah, she doesn't need a drink. <laughs> but anyway, oh, there's somebody fishing today. But anyhow, so. Alright, let's continue on. Someday you're going to have to take me to the lake where I can get the horse in the water. Sometime uh. when it's not 25 degrees. <laughs> uh. Maybe one of those warm days when we can go in the water. Yes, dear. Evidently somebody has, but not us. Where do we go? Up here, go to your right. See the green paint? I'll follow you. Okay. All right, come on. The lake trail here makes a loop. It comes down along the lake, and it'll make a loop around the lake, or by the lake anyway, I should say. Then we'll continue back up here, and we'll pick back up to the intersection of Lake and Josh and we'll take Lake. Alright, so we made the little loop down to Baden Lake. There's Josh and there's Lake and we're going to take Lake this way. Like I said, we're crossing. That's a hiking trail that we're crossing. Um, so now we're on 703 still a green blaze. We're going to take this up to the top of the hill and pick up Indian at the little intersection they call Walmart. So, oh, we got another little road crossing coming up here. This is Forest Service Road 597 that we're going to get ready to cross. And like I said, you know, I guess if you needed to not ride through the woods, you can go up here and ride the road back to the horse camp. But we're going to continue. Okay. Hi. Right. It's pointing up the road here. You see this, there's a little sign there that says 703 Lake Trail and you actually have to ride up the road a little bit. They do have a little green blaze there and then there's some green blaze right up here where we cut back into the uh, trail at. So, and actually we'll cut the trail, cut in the trail right up here. So here's the lake trail now. Cut back in here. 703. Okay, so here we're at an intersection here and we're going to continue. We'll go left. That's Todd that goes that way. 
and we're going to go to the left here and this will take us up to the top of the hill um, to the place everybody calls Walmart so okay we just came up the hill from uh, Lake Trail on look, we were on Todd for just a few minutes but that's Todd Lake and Leslie that we just came up and Indian goes here to our right and Megan We'll actually head back up that way to the top of the ridge and on. Well, we're going to ride Megan one day. Um, anyway, so like I said, we're going to take Indian down. Indian is a purple blaze. All right, y'all. Well, we finished up our ride here down here at Uwari today, and um, like I said, I think it's a pretty good ride. What do you think, Jack? It was ride. a nice it's ride. A nice, ride. Nice, nice, easy ride for for a Saturday afternoon. Okay. Yeah, and I, I, you know, I don't know how many miles we went. Maybe six or eight miles. It probably really wasn't that far, but it was a nice ride uh, for a you know midday. We didn't get we didn't get down here. We didn't get started riding till like twelve o'clock or so. And our um, horses are not well, in we the didn't actually. It's probably one o'clock before we got started. Yeah, riding, our horses so. are not in the greatest shape right now, and this is not the easiest terrain. So I didn't. We didn't want to push them, and it was just a nice ride. So right. We had a nice easy ride for a nice easy day. There you go. And like I said, it's absolute. Look at that beautiful blue sky here today in North Carolina. So look, y'all. I hope you enjoyed this video, and remember, if you did, hit that like and subscribe button to Single Oak Farm. And y'all just remember, do something nice for somebody, and y'all be good to one another. This is Cowboy Greg, He's sidekick the Jackie, saying bye. <laughs> bye.